bold, big, ambitious partnership events like this one are part of a bigger business plan which is aimed at creating a, a vibrant town centre to attract families in some of the selected battleground areas which we've picked because we've noticed that there's identified available spend and there are people there that might otherwise go elsewhere. Countryside Comes to Town was um, a great event in Blackburn and here at Santander we feel it's really important to get involved and support our local community and the town and there's so much happens in Blackburn. Um, we had a local business tombola, we had a scarecrow hunt for the children, we had lots of freebies, we gave out chocolate buttons, we gave out lots of umbrellas because unfortunately the weather wasn't on our side but it was just great fun, we had a really great day. Our Blackburn Visitor Centre was really busy on Countryside Comes to Town Day. Uh, we had lots and lots of enquiries from people all over the North West. It was a fabulous day and it was really lovely to see lots of happy families in the Blackburn Town Centre. The staff said that they, they really enjoyed it. They couldn't believe how many people came to Blackburn that day and customers were coming in saying, I can't believe all this is happening in our town. How wonderful is this? As a local business, Dapper's happy to get involved with lots of events. Blackburn Bid put on some super events that involve a cross section of, of Dapper, right from the young children right through to the adults, and that's great because that's what Dapper's about, about family, about community, and that's why this event was so lovely because all the children could be involved and the parents got involved, the adults were singing, the children were being all little bumblebees and little butterflies, and they just loved it. They loved dressing up and they loved the whole event. It was really exciting. Fantastic events like this make memories and change the way people feel about a space. We, what we want is people to see the great shopping centre and the new modern facilities and come back again and visit having experienced the transformation, seen it for themselves and just had a fantastic day. We all had a great day. Uh, we had customers that have never been before, come to the outside events, found the market, came to us, bought loads of gear and have been back since. Uh, so all we can say is as many events as possible because it brings more and more people into Blackburn and that's what we want. Trade-wise, we had an amazing day. I went up town and there was stuff going on everywhere. It was really busy, best day we've ever had. Events like this are really important to us and traders in Blackburn because it brings new people in. We have a really busy day. There was stuff going on everywhere. It was a great day. Have you been to Blackburn lately? Because if not, I urge you to. The place is buzzing with change. After about 15 years of planning, the multi-million pound cathedral quarter is due to complete this Christmas and we'll have Blackburn's first hotel. We've an extended mall, a bright, modern new market, uh, there's a new leisure centre and a pool, the railway station's been redone and that provides a, a great welcoming gateway for visitors and commuters arriving by train. The library looks fabulous after its makeover, Blackburn College campus is stunning and soon Blackburn will have a Fab Lab project and it's um, very exciting that the sale of the Cotton Exchange building has gone through. So it's no wonder that businessmen like uh, Patrick Grant, the celebrity sewing bee judge, want to come to Blackburn to launch and grow their businesses. In the 20th of June, it looked entirely different. There were animals behind us on the petting farm. Down to my left here, we had the donkey rides. And along the path in front of me, we had all the stores which were selling various things, plants, uh, candy floss, and various other commodities. So it was an absolutely excellent day, and the customers came along and had a thoroughly thrilling time just wandering around and doing things for us. It, it was great to have the Countryside Comes to Town event here in the heart of Blackburn. The cathedral uh, found that it had so many visitors, in spite of the weather, who had not been in the building before. This is important to us because the cathedral, Lancashire's cathedral, is at the heart of urban development, regeneration in Blackburn. And so now more people appreciate what is being developed. It's getting people to come and see all this that's the big challenge for the bid. Countryside Comes to Town turned the town centre into um, a nature theme park with a range of free interactive experiences in a range of spaces. We used this great Farmville style map which Source Creative uh, designed for us so that visitors could follow the trail to milk Matilda the cow in Blackburn Market. Um, they could put their head inside a 30 foot sleeping pig up on Soodle Cross. Blackburn Cathedral became a farmyard with vintage tractors for children to climb on. Um, 
And of course the star of the show was Mr Bloom. It was an absolutely fantastic day, busy day both inside the Mal shopping centre here and also out on King William Street. Lots of shoppers, great day. Mr Bloom himself, we had workshops inside the Mal as well for the kiddies. Um, so it was an all round package of all sorts of different events going on in the town centre. The events are really important to us because it brings new customers. There's lots of regular customers that come here to shop and enjoy the environment. But an event like that absolutely brings new people. And we had such good comments on the day that, wow, this is, this is fabulous. It's, is this Blackburn? It was great. Yeah, we did a fabulous day with people from all over different towns that uh, have the opportunity to shop in Blackburn and we listened to their views and what they wanted and the research proved that they wanted family events and that's why we uh, went ahead and did this event. Mr Bloom was the star of the show. He didn't fail to delight children and their mothers who could for hours to see him. In Blackburn Museum, children got hands-on with some creepy crawlies, followed the natural history trail and received a free giant insect from our balloon modeler. At Blackburn Museum, the countryside come to town was a huge success because on a day when, a Saturday when our average visitor figures would be 80 to 100, uh, we had 1,500 through the door, which was demanding but fantastic. Uh, because it allowed us to showcase our collections to a very wide cross-section of not just Blackburn's um, population but also the region because of folk travelling in from all around uh, which is fantastic because you then get subsequent visits but we were also able to uh, engage with those people with a range of activities that we put on in the building and everybody had a wonderful time. We carried out market research with focus groups and this event fitted the brief that visitors had asked for. As the Young Weavers Club it just uh, seemed ideal for us to be involved with and so the busiest events I've ever seen in Blackburn Town Centre in recent years. So the idea was to get families down and, and just uh, get the recycling bags and get the kids to decorate their own bags. Uh, the way they're it's just trying to regenerate and re rejuvenate Blackburn Town Centre. And Blackburn is definitely buzzing at the moment. There's, there's something going on in Blackburn, I feel anyway. And I've, I've lived and worked in Blackburn for many, many years. So I feel there's a, there is a change in Blackburn and, and it's, it's a positive change. It had fabulous graphics um, by Source Creative and a content-rich PR and social media campaign by another local creative business, Square Cactus. As I said, the crowd puller was the CBeebies character, Mr Bloom, and the result was 76,000 people to Blackburn, the busiest Saturday this year so far. In fact, it was so busy that they had to close parts of the mall to the public because demand was so high. But I'm the organiser, so I'm going to say it's great. Um, so um, perhaps you'd better see what customers said. After all, that's what it's all about. I went down to the Countryside Comes to Town Day in Blackburn, with my two grandsons, Joseph and Oliver, we had an absolutely brilliant day. Blackburn really is now pulling itself up by its roots, I think. It's really doing well at the moment. And it's what Blackburn needs to bring people in. The people, the businesses deserve it. And on that day, you could not put a pin between people. It was lovely, right through King William Street, up Town Hall Street to the Big Pig. We loved looking in the Big Pig, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. And just oh, the food was superb. It was honestly, we couldn't fault it. Mm -hmm.